Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Iski. I'm a new digital artist, new to art in general. I'm trying to relearn my passions and uh, I stumbled upon Clip Studio Paint. It's an amazing tool. Everything's been really plug and play uh, when it comes to downloading brushes, installing brushes, other materials, things like that. They make it super easy. But one thing they didn't make easy though is gradient maps and gradient map sets. This has been a nightmare, my dude. I have, <laughs> I've had the hardest time. I had to put on my hiking boots, go all the way to the Clip Studio Paint website, uh, look through the manual. Thankfully, after a lot of digging, I was able to find the steps on how to add these because unfortunately, it's not like brushes. It's not like other materials. You, it, you can't just drag it from your download folder and put it in and use it uh, and have it ready and available. There are. A lot of extra steps that you have to do but thankfully I've done all the hard work so you don't have to so let's get right in all right so the first thing you're gonna want to do is go to your toolbar or your, your tool section find your gradients go ahead and click that super easy first step and now once you have that gradient um, selected the first thing you want to do is to make sure you're able um, to see this tool property area so what you're gonna want to do is just click any random gradient in that you have available to you and see if you're able to see this description. And now if you don't see this window, not a problem. Uh, all you have to do is come up to your window section up here and then go down the options and make sure tool property is selected. Okay, see if I have that unchecked, this is what it looks like. Um, however, once I do have that checked, you're able to see all this nice, beautiful information here. Okay, this is going to be essential in getting these gradient maps loaded. So once you do um, have that information available to you, what you're going to want to do is at the top of the subtools where you have your whole list of grading, um, you're going to click the three lines or the drop down menu. Once you click that, you're going to look for create custom subtool. Okay. Once you have that new uh, custom subtool window come up, uh, it's going to ask you for the name. I just leave it on the default because I don't know all the names in the set. So we can easily just go back after we have that loaded and change it to the correct name. So I'm just going to leave that as the default. Um, this is what it's going to look like. So this little window here, useless, get rid of it. You don't need it. So after that, this is why you need this portion. Okay. So you're going to have to click on the adjustment area, click on that. And then this window appears. So this is our gateway to heaven. This uh, is the light at the end of the tunnel where we're able to see what we've downloaded, thankfully. Now, if you don't see what you've downloaded here, very simple fix. What you're gonna wanna do is click the little wrench here next to this drop down. Once you click that wrench, you're going to add gradient set. Once you click on that, uh, you just type in the keyword. If you remember like uh, the phrases or what it said in the title, of the gradient set and then it's defaulted on group materials not added garbage go to the other ones and then you should be able to see it it should pop up in one of the other options if you have a specific download folder that you've created that everything goes to or anything like that it should appear here but yeah so go ahead and select it hit add i'm just going to go through those steps for you i already have it added here uh, it's not going to double up or anything so now that you have all of your gradient sets showing up in this little window unfortunately it doesn't add it to your sub tools just quite yet and it is annoying um how we have to do this because it's gonna be one by one and I'm, I'm so so sorry but there's no way to do the entire set all in one go you're gonna have to do this each one by single one well uh the last one i did was cream so what i need now is red oni okay so i'm going to click on red oni Okay, the next step after you've clicked the one that you want to use, you're going to hit uh, at the bottom underneath the list is load to gradient bar. It should look like a little square with an arrow going upwards. Okay, I'm going to click it and then it should show up at the top. You should see the preview and then you're going to click OK and then boom, Bob's your uncle. It's there now. We have it. So then now all we have to do is right click it to change the name. I'll come here to sub tool settings like that boom red only and now you're able to use it so thank you guys so much for your time don't forget to like if you thought this video was helpful uh, give it a comment and let me know if there's anything else you guys have trouble with hopefully it was all useful information um and i'll see you guys on the next one